Hey guys, I'm Bad Convolution. My name is Khan, and right now I'm super excited to be continuing The Sandman with episode two of season one, bro. Episode one was so freaking good. If you guys haven't checked out my reaction to season one, episode one of The Sandman, links down in the description below. As well as previous, you guys can go and check that out for joining back with me. Uh, for any of you guys joining me for the first time, uh, I have read some of The Sandman comics. I've read issues one and, not issues, I've read volumes one and two. So I'm guessing volume one and two is what's gonna be covered throughout the course of season one with minor alterations here and there but based on episode one it felt like they did it was like a carbon copy of the panel from the first issue you know it, it looks so good so good budget in every shot bro budget and oh uh, man dream uh, i i forgot what the actor for the dream is i uh, tom something so it starts with a mess but uh, he is so good like the charisma not the, or the energy he gives off like, so the gothic energy you know it's so freaking good charles dance it was an absolute phenomenal performance and of course you get charles dance to pay, uh, to play the only um you know the father who completely hates his uh, son who's still alive you know the sort of denethor sort of character the sort of tywin lannister sort of character it's so good it's so good i i i absolutely loved the, the, all of the performance in episode one and the way you know dream was released how he re how he um went back to the uh the dreaming world and like the, the whole incident with the in the waking world with like you know the, the 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 sleeping sickness taking place it was such a beautiful way of like portraying everything that took place and uh you guys let me know in the comments that uh yeah jessamy wasn't originally in the comics that's why i was like the, the fact that they shot jessamy i don't even remember that from the comics so yeah that's why <laughs> you know so yeah so uh, i'm super excited i'm not gonna speak anymore i'm gonna actually watch episodes two and three today but this video is specifically for episode two as always if you guys enjoy watching these these videos me don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video with any other fans of sandman either the show or the comics are you guys excited for season two have they announced a season two yet they better you know i'm gonna be checking twitter every day for that announcement you know what i'm saying so yeah uh also join me over on discord you guys can chat with me directly over there and also with a wonderful community growing over there you guys can also check out um in the description below I have, I have some reactions ongoing reactions to a lot of other netflix shows and some disney plus shows as well so hope you guys are enjoying that and enjoying sandman if you guys have already finished it uh and leave all your comments down below with you guys start of this episode without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into episode two season one of the sandman bro three two one sun damn a realm destroyed bro shit this place has seen better days but damn those glass walls are doing pretty good you know a chronicle of everything that happened in your absence oh lucier but slowly the words began to fade all the books in the library became bound volumes of blank paper and yet you remain while others fled. Cause Lucian's a G! Royal librarian of an abandoned kingdom. I never felt abandoned. Shit. I knew you would return. Lucian's that homie you gotta keep around no matter what. Oh damn, he, he has energy for this? Shit. Oh, but it's costing him. Holy shit. You need rest, my lord. Yeah, shit. No, he needs his items. And Oh wait, she doesn't know. Not without my tools, my sand, my helm, my ruby. Yeah, what each holds an aspect of his power. By my captors. <laughs> Who got stolen from? You know what I am without them. Ooh. So it's like a journey yes. of rediscovery, but also like, you know, self-improvement in a way. Why, the place you got here, huh? Oh, Ethel Cripps! Mm. Done a very good job of convincing people Ethel Cripps doesn't exist. What are you then? Do you remember the being Roderick Burgess get caged in his basement? You're one of his? I'm my own man now. She what kind of knife is that? Because he's out of his cage and he's coming for us. I never did anything to him. Oh, you did though, Ethel. Dude, I love you the still... Corinthians voice. Such a great actor, man. I'm a son of three and one. Yeah. <laughs> They never tell you what you want to know. Perhaps just this once, you could ask one of your siblings for help. Oh yeah! Destiny would certainly know where your tools are. Or desire. My siblings have <laughs> Fuck desire. Let's go with destiny on that one. We do not interfere in each other's affairs. You may not. But they certainly be known to. <laughs> desire. Tell them what happened to you. I am quite sure they know what happened to me. I'm not one of them came to my aid. 
Damn. Imagine you're trapped and your brothers and sisters never came to help you. Budget, bro. <laughs> In the comics, he had orange hair. Oh, the king returns! Morpheus, I told you he'd return. I never doubted it. To the house of mystery, or to the house of secrets. I have tea. If I have tea and biscuits. <laughs> I'm afraid this is not a social call. I must take back a gift I gave you long ago. Oh, Gregory. Damn. Some of the dialogue is a little bit different, but it's it, it holds the feelings of the comics so true. I need your help. Look at this TV show! This TV show! Look at the, the graphics! He's one of us now. Yes! Not fair. No, that's not. Damn! Look at this! It's so good, bro! That look good! <laughs> oh my god, that's so... I, I, I'm losing it over these graphics, man. Oh, sparkling sand. Yeah, it hurts him too, it's part of his creation. Cain and Abel being Cain and Abel. <laughs> I can show you how to use them. Use them to do what? Make him go away. You want me to kill the King of Dreams? You just have to listen. Trust me. Yeah, I uh, know. What do you think Dream will do to the son of Roderick Burgess? Mmm, what indeed. Oh man, the, the the coarseness in his voice, the rough tone. Do you tone? think you're quite ready for this, your majesty? Ooh. It has been some time since you've navigated these waters. Look at these settings, dude. So... I think I've forgotten how. So cool. No. I cannot ask the fates for help without giving them something in return. I have to gather my offerings from the dreams of others. Right. I understand. These waters have become darker. These waters are as much a part of me as I am of them. Gregory's sacrifice will not be in vain. Oh, that is scary, man. Nope. You were right, Lucian. The dreams and nightmares no longer seem to recognize their master. I will remind them. Since one meets the fates at a crossroads, I find one in the dreams of a Cambodian farmer. Oh, shit. Look at that. Flapping of the shop, bro. Mm, so good. Heck, I think. Oh damn, she's pretty. The gift. Okay. Interesting diet. My first question. I had a leather pouch filled with sand. I magic use called Joanna Constantine. Oh, I love this actress so much. They did a gender bend of John Constantine in this. You get one question, one answer. It was traded away to a demon. Oh, that's Ethel. For the amulet of protection. To which nice. demon was it traded? Why are you still asking questions on top of questions, bro? Last question, my ruby. Ooh, baby. Your gem was passed 
from a mother to a son. What? Why are you asking more questions? My lord, you didn't give it to the fates. Oh, that's gonna be for Cain and Abel. Mm -hmm. Over the years, they've come up with very interesting ways of killing him. You can't deny the tools have helped you. Certainly kept you from looking your age. Right. My son John took the ruby from me. Whoa. Your eyes will tell me everything. Oh, dude, everything. look at the teeth. Well, regret this. Shit. Oh, the amulet of protection that she traded the helmet for. Oh, shit! It's got totally freaking disintegrated. Okay. Damn, he's got a big head. No, they don't. It starts with a G. Uh, uh, yeah, here we go. My God, he just came back. Can't say shit around his guy. Oh, I think this was supposed to be Arkham Asylum in the comics. But obviously they can't do that. They're trying to melt it away from the DCEU. Funny enough, they got the person in the DCU who plays Ares to play Johnny. Oh, RJ Lupin, how you been, bro? How's your therapy going? That really goes well for either of us. Perhaps I should ask the guard to come in and referee. <laughs> <laughs> Goldie. <laughs> yeah, you better watch out you call him. What are brothers for, eh? Little brother? <laughs> I'll be fine. He never normally murders me before lunch. Oh man. He's not much of a morning person. God. Why London? The sand was sold there. When I have it back, I will seek out my hell mm. in hell. Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh, I'm looking forward to that episode. Holy shit. Then will you grant me one favor? Take a raven with you. Oh, Matthew. No more ravens. If not for you, then for me. I am dream of the endless. Oh. Yes, the dream of the endless always has a raven. Jasmine was the last. That should hit him differently. If this constant time is anything like our ancestors, Ooh. Well Damn. Damn. Ooh, budget, bro. Budget. So good. He's back in the dream realm. Damn. Where is Dream? He's out there looking for his tools, isn't he? He will be coming back. Then I better get a move on. Where are you going? Back to the waking world. And I'll never come back. He will come after you. He won't be coming back either. Damn. Wow. Dude, another freaking great episode. Holy crap. Like, uh, okay, I gotta go back and actually read uh, the issue with Cain and Abel and Gregory, but it, from what I remember, that felt like a straight page by page, you know, like copy of the story that took place there. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is so good. And the whole, um, Ethel Cripps storyline of her going to well in the in the comics it's actually she goes to Arkham Asylum and um meets her son in there and so th that storyline I mean obviously they can't make it Arkham Asylum and even the whole thing with John Constantine because the Sandman is actually a very uh, uh, um, a storyline that's very much delved within the DC extended universe you know so you have issues of like the greater DC comics where you know the, the even the Justice League have interactions with members of the endless you know what i'm saying particularly death if i remember correctly but <clears throat> 
I think Zatanna meets death at one point, but I don't remember exactly. Yeah, so don't quote me on that. But um, yeah, like uh, so yeah, it, it, she Ethel actually goes to Arkham Asylum, but they can't obviously make the connections here. So they even change John Constantine to Joanna Constantine. You know, so I, I'm very excited for the next episode if that's going to be the Joanna Constantine episode. So yeah, like I, I'm, I'm I love the actresses playing Joanna Constantine, and I can't wait for these two characters to interact with one another. It's gonna be so freaking good. It's gonna be so freaking good i'm also very much excited for the episode in hell because we know the character who's playing lucifer morningstar is gwendolyn christine that was so freaking good dude so i'm, I'm super excited for that I'm, 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 and I, I'm also loving the Corinthian. I didn't like the Corinthian like a whole lot in the comics, but the actor who's playing Corinthian, his voice, his energy, it's so good. He's so creepy yet like, you know, I don't know, his sort of has this sort of like attractive energy about him. He's like a crazy ass killer. But um, I, I believe if I remember correctly, he basically uh, takes people's eyes out like we saw in episode one and consumes them in his eyes. And it allows, it gives him a, some uh, form of power and energy and it lets them assume the memories and it's basically energy for his like soul and whatnot um <clears throat> and to you know fabricate his dreamlike powers and manifest like you know his uh, identity within reality sort of but yeah th th there's a lot of like a, a philosophical explanation of why he exists why all dreams exist uh, as dream explained it in the comics but yeah i'm not doing it, it justice anyways this episode was fantastic. I kept saying budget throughout my reaction because the budget in this episode and in this series is is clear as as day and night. You know what I'm saying? Because like Gregory looks so good and the emotion in Gregory Lee, like while he's like sacrificing himself back to his creator. It's so good. It's so good. Even the even Gerving at the end or Goldie, you know what I'm saying? Or Irving. Uh, it, it looked very good. Very similar to what what it looked like in the comics. The actors for Cain and Abel, phenomenal. Um, I think, you know, they, they'll have some very funny moments later on. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. This show is so good. And the, the way the dream meets the fates, oh, that scene was so beautiful. The way Dream has to navigate other people's dreams to acquire what he needs, like the present that he needs to uh, gift um, <clears throat> the fates so that the fates can answer the questions for him. Three questions, three tools. Sounds like Providence, doesn't it? Morpheus. Oh, man, it's so good. It's so good. I love the way the Amulet of Protection, like, disintegrated, you know, um, it disintegrated the Corinthian the effects and in the show are so good so good I can't say anything and I love like Lucian's you know speech about you know staying in the dream realm and the the, the conversation that I thought felt like the was strongest in this episode was you know dream talking about how you know uh, his, none of his siblings came to save him I mean they, they can't really interfere in each other's affairs but you know it doesn't stop them from trying you know what I'm saying so and and um, you know uh, I'm excited to see where that line of thought and uh, takes us in the future but yeah what did you guys think leave your comments down below hope you guys are having a wonderful day or wonderful night wherever you guys are if you guys enjoy my reactions don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video with any other fans sandman i'm gonna be jumping into episode three right now so i'll see you guys then bye thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it please subscribe hit that like button and feel free to share the video and i'll see you guys next time